Here's some terminology that's helpful. This is a generic tree trunk, and it's different in different directions. We can draw one line going up and down, another line going inward and outward, and then we can form a third line perpendicular to that inward and outward line. This up and down direction we call longitudinal. The inward and outward direction we call radial. And this other direction is called tangential. Longitudinal, radial, tangential. Now remember, these terms are in relation to a tree, which is a circular tubular object. So while the longitudinal direction is pretty straightforward, the radial direction is always describing from the center of the tree outward, where it's cutting across these rings. So radial grain is always kind of across these rings. But the tangential line is always 90 degrees or perpendicular to that radial line. So if that radial line is here, that tangential line is here. And if that radial line is here, that tangential line is here. I like to use these terms when describing what I see in wood because they're somewhat simple and they help remind me of the wood's relationship to the tree and what that relationship is. Now, in traditional milling of timbers, there are a number of cuts of wood you can get. If you take a log and just slice through it in the most straightforward way, you'll get mostly what are called flat sawn or plain sawn boards. Most flat sawn boards will have tangential grain on their main face, which ends up looking a bit like this, with these side bands and some of these mountains or crowns, as they're sometimes called. But if you cut a log up like this, you get what we refer to as quarter sawn boards or rift sawn boards. In some cases, different people refer to things by different names, which is why I like to use the terms discussed earlier. On these cuts, you'll have both radial grain and tangential grain. And on this one, you'll have radial grain on all sides, which results in long straight lines aesthetically. There are in fact a lot of purely aesthetic as well as structural reasons one might choose to use a particular cut of wood over another. For all of my drawers, uh, drawer sides and drawer backs, I've chosen to go with this fairly straight grain structure, this quarter sawn timber mostly for structural reasons, because these pieces aren't going to be seen. But, but for my drawer fronts, they are going to be seen, and so it'll be a great place to talk about some of the aesthetic choices you might make of a cut of wood.